the first 10 15 minutes of your interview that is that is the most critical time of your interview and uh, that is the time when you get the most opportunity to explain yourself right what you have done and what's your background and how your background is going to help you achieve great milestones for the company that you are applying the interview for and then uh, what are the outstanding job that you have done right basically it is the first 10 15 minutes that that you make your interviewer know what you are best at and you know why they must hire you right that's 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 why the first 10 15 minutes is very important right and after that you know generally the interview will go into mostly q and a and you know more like whiteboarding questions uh, which which probably you know uh, would not be based on uh, your previous knowledge but rather be based on what the interviewer expect from you but it is the first 10 15 minutes is completely different that is an opportunity for you to explain your skill sets and your your best stuff that you want your interviewer to hear so today we are going to talk about them and and most importantly you should have a brief idea on what you are going to talk in the first 10 15 minutes generally the questions would include your background uh, information about your background and uh, what are your current project and how well your current project is doing and then uh, what are some achievement what you have that you are proud of right some work that you have done and that you are really proud of you know any such kind of work that you have to explain and then a current job workflow how exactly do uh, you communicate with the other people and how the work come to you and how do you deliver your work and things like that and then uh, then at the end the technical skills so these five questions is you know it's standard question in every every interviews right i mean you should be taking uh, enough time maybe one two or three minutes to answer these questions is in as much as detailed and as simple as possible right don't confuse the interviewer that is not uh, what you need to do whatever you have to explain about these five questions give a straightforward answer and the answer should be as simple as possible in layman words that you know the interviewer would understand even if he is not using the same technology as you are right so that is very very important most of the time i have seen people messing up the first 10 15 minutes so I, uh, right most of the interviews you, people get rejected not because they are not technically competitive most of the time they don't they are not capable to explain things to the interviewer the way they expect to right that and that is very important and that is why this five questions uh, uh, first one is about your background and your current job a uh, proud full achievement the current job workflow and uh, technical skills these questions you should actually prepare and answer all by yourself so i would start from the first one about your background so when the interviewer asks you about your background you can talk about a lot of things right your your uh, yeah of course you can also talk about your hobbies what you do at your play time you know and the interview is not a really very very um, right i mean two and a sessions right it can be friendly so you can uh, talk about your hobbies what do you do and what do you enjoy the most you can also talk about your professional background and uh, talk about uh, the years of experience what you have in brief and explain you already know the jd you already know uh, have an idea about the job description that the interviewer has already presented to you so based on that uh, explain your background and uh, you know explain why you might be fitting for this particular job so once you explain your background take uh, one two or three minutes to explain your background to the interviewer and and uh, all prepare these answers you know even before the interview because these questions is a must right and even if the interviewer didn't ask you should ask the interviewer i mean why the hell you did not ask this right so, so these are questions that every interviewer will ask i would this would be the first five questions uh, repeated questions i would ask everyone that i interview because i just want to know about them from their own words right that's that's very important for me to understand how uh, the candidate is and and in his own words that that means a lot to the interviewer right so first 10 uh, generally many people you know first 10 minutes they will just uh, uh, do some blah 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 stuff and then wait for the actual interview process to start and that is not that's very very wrong actually most interviews in the first 10 minutes itself the interviewer would made his mind whether they should hire you or not and the rest of the like after 10 15 minutes rest of the questions are more like 
just they are uh, they are uh, trying to check your technical knowledge with some questions throwing at you and then uh, looking at your approach how you are solving them uh, but by that time generally after 10 15 minutes most of the time the interviewer made their mind whether they should reject you or select you and then after that it's up to you whether you want to mess it up or not right so so uh, yeah all right so uh, the most important part the first 15 minutes so when you explain your background explain the background in a word that is relevant to the job description what what you got from the interviewer and the second thing about your current project so uh, when you explain your current project you should, you should actually be able to convince the interviewer why you are doing things in that way I mean, you should not say that you are doing it in the perfect way as possible, right? Sometimes things can be perfect and sometimes things can be very much complicated, right? In, in most of the DevOps SRE work, things are not very straightforward, I'm telling you, right? It's, uh, it, it varies from company to company, varies from technology to technology and uh, people ask lots of, a uh, lot of monolithic application, microservices, some of them are microservices, some of them are monolithic and each of some of them uses containers, some of them are not. So uh, each of them has different different strategy and few of the things cannot be automated and in such cases you do a lot of manual work, you still do some production changes and it is okay. Right. It, it is actually okay to uh, tell the interviewer that we are doing this, this is uh, something that we are doing in the manual way, but, but, uh, but at the same time you should also be explained him the reason why you are doing this, right? Probably uh, you don't really want to take the effort of automating it uh, because you are doing it like once in two to three months. Probably if you try to automate it, it takes a lot of effort and if you do it manually because this work need to happen, finish in 10 minutes and it need to happen on different. So uh, what I'm trying to say is uh, you don't just try to, when you explain your project, uh, try to be as much as honest as possible and then, um, but you should have an overall overview, what are the best practices, what you are doing right and what you are doing wrong and, and basically uh, the most important uh, part the interviewer want to hear here is that you are doing a project, you are currently working on a project and how you are going about solving the problems in your project, how you are taking care of the CICD practices, how do you do the monitoring part, how do you take care of <coughs> the observability of your applications, how do you make sure that your developer has all the logs that they want to access and then uh, the, the ability for them to index them and then probably uh, you, know, you, you also want to know how explain how what are the deployment strategies that you use and why do you use them uh, without going to too much technical remember technology is not the key point in the first 10 minutes it's it's about how in layman words you can explain the best practices what you follow even uh, not so best practices that you are still following you can tell that to interviewer and you can also tell them why you are doing that and then that is okay right it's uh, people expect honesty and people love honesty during interviews and and but yeah uh, the idea is that whatever project yours is you you explain him uh, in a broad picture right uh, uh, cover most of the problems including CICD observability and then uh, monitoring uh, logging uh, deployment strategies, different different environment, how do you manage them, how do you manage the infrastructure uh, without, uh, you don't need to tell the tool's name or the way how you are doing it but you should tell them uh, we are uh, writing code when we want to manage the infrastructure and when we want to provision the preview environment we just use some Jenkins pipelines to do that. So uh, you can do such kind of things in very layman words that the interviewer would easily be able to catch and then he get an idea, alright this guy probably is not doing the best practices but he has a complete end-to-end -end knowledge on the project and uh, maybe he is not the one who is working on it somebody else but this guy know and he can manage things so uh, so when you explain your project try to explain it in a broad way in a complete way in very simple layman words without using much complex technology words that's very very important and then then the next question that you should prepare your answer before the interview that would be your uh, proudful achievement what is the work that you are proud of doing right so so most people get confused about this question because they think they think this is something that is part of their day-to-day -day responsibility right uh, so when I talk about this uh, there was a serious problem that nobody was able to solve you stepped in and you solved the problem is that a proudful achievement? No, it is not. It's your job, right? Or, or 
so don't get confused about what is a proudful achievement when 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 we talk about a work that you are proud of it could be a work that you did which nobody else would have done if you didn't do it or uh, or some work that you did which added a lot of value some measurable value to your organization or to your team right so uh, if i tell you an example some new uh, practices that you brought into the ci cd which improved the delivery cycle uh, from you know from every one month to every three weeks so you could you know you save 25% uh no uh, you are 25 percent faster uh, 125 percent faster than uh, to do the deployment before uh, because of some change that you made so that is an achievement right because because things were already working and uh, and uh, some system that you improved and nobody else would have bothered doing that right so uh, this shows uh, some proactiveness that you took on some project it could be anything it could be it could be some new monitoring system uh, that you implemented because you are lacking proper observability of your applications you decided that you know remove the old systems and then bring in some new system that can actually give more uh, observability and a lot of matrices to you that would help you and your developers so that is a proudful moment or basically a proudful achievement is something that 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 is actually measurable right that added a big value to the whole team or the whole organization maybe uh, increased delivery cycle or you could meet the SLS continuously after you brought in some change to some monitoring and observability systems or uh, some new deployment practices that you implemented uh, right certain things like that those are the achievements right not not some solution of a difficult problem that's not an achievement right that's your job so uh, always make sure that when you, uh, you you think about that moment where you are really proud of and uh, and and prepare the answer to that question well in advance before before your interview and then um, the current job workflow how exactly do you work inside your company uh, what are the people how many members are part of your team and how do you distribute your work i mean do you do you put your hands into everything or do you if you have a, a five or ten people sre team then everyone work on everything or you know do you do you, uh, certain people focus on monitoring part and remaining people focus on other things so uh, how your team structure is and how you are working with other teams developers and how do you get the work or how do you get the work and how do you finish the work and how you ensure the quality of your work and how the way how you communicate your stand up calls your your retros or you know whatever uh, whatever uh, meetings that you do or whatever communication collaboration that you do so this is all about you know uh, you you telling the interviewer uh, that you are actually a right team player and you you always focus on the team objective rather than your individual objectives right this is important how you fit to the team and how you work with the team and uh, things like that and and then uh, then uh, next thing is your technical skills and again the technical skills also should be written or explained in a more like a measurable way for example you are very good with kubernetes you give yourself a mark right you tell tell your interviewer and uh, for kubernetes i score myself 8 out of 10 because i am i'm very good with kubernetes and uh, when it comes to argo cd it would be 7 out of 10 and not that much proficient with Argo CD, but I had set up Argo CD for few of our application from scratch, and we started using it. And then for uh, Jenkins, I would mark myself like nine out of ten. I am much proficient, very good with CI CD and uh, Jenkins pipelines. I'm, I'm pretty good at, very strong. So you can give yourself some marks right uh, in the first ten minutes itself. That would actually help the interviewer pick the question that he want to ask you later right um, uh, the reason is that most of the time uh, the companies who interview you might be using different tools than what you are uh, what you like right i mean what you are using in your company or your favorite tools might not be what the recruiting company is using so in such cases the interviewer would have confusion what are the questions that uh, you he should ask you 
so uh, explain him what you are best at what you are not very good at what you are average at in order to get that picture about your technical skills and you know prepare a pre prepared answer for that also so these are five questions that every interviewer would ask you make sure that you have already prepared the answer to this question before your interview starts believe me that would make a big difference and it is based on this answers to this five question the interviewer decide whether they want to hire you or not uh, most of the time um, if this first 10 minutes they can easily reject you right they they can actually easily reject you uh, after they hear answers to these five questions and most of the interviews are very short because of that most of the interviews are very short because the first 10 15 minutes interviewer does not get any idea about the candidate's background so make sure that it's clear it's precise it's simple and it's explained in a very very layman words and and yeah that's that's pretty much about i wanted to discuss and there is another video that i uh, that i uh, took before i hope you watched it that's about um, what the interviewer think right so if you didn't watch it you know uh, just go back and watch that video it's a very important video and and yeah that's it and uh, see you see you again with another video so oh, like like this channel and you know uh, subscribe to this channel and like the video if you if you if you if you think it added some value so thanks